So I want to give you a quick rundown of how the World Map Builder editing tools work. So to do that, we're going to create a quick level and then make some changes to it to make it a more advanced level. So once you're logged in, you click on Create Map. You'll be given your grid, your paint options, and settings. Let's call this Tutorial Level. And the first thing I'm going to do is going to paint your backdrop. This is just kind of a way to build everything off of it. Next, I want to put some details, which kind of roughing things in. Then I'm going to put my go start location, make up my path to one, two, three, for the castle. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to put our three level tiles. Now, all these tiles are just decorative. Any square on the map could be a level if you wanted to. Um, so what we're going to do is, now that we've painted our map, we're going to click on this tile, and we're going to give it a level ID. In this case, I'm just going to put in gibberish, and I'm going to uncheck the box. This makes it so that if I hit Save Map, and I go to the Map Builder, Everything else is not clickable because they're all locked, but this one, I can click on it and see the level code. If go... Now, if we go back, I can do the same for the rest of the levels and do that and then unlock them. Level three, unlock it, and the castle. Lock it. We hit save map. And what that's going to do now is that now every map tile or every level tile is clickable with a different level code. This is a great way to make a level that, you know, every level is available to everybody. They can play it in any order they want. But to make it a little bit more dynamic, then we start making, we adding some actions and some exit codes. So let's go back to the other one. So first thing I'm gonna do is level one. Actually, level two, I'm gonna relock you. Level three, relock you. Level castle, relock you. Now level one, since it's the first one, we're gonna leave it unlocked. We're gonna add an exit. You determine an exit by giving it an exit code. Uh, an exit code could be added at the end of the level, or it could be hidden somewhere in the level if you want to have alternate exits. You can have as many exit codes as you want, but we're gonna make one simple one. We're just gonna do Donut, flower, no block. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add actions. Now, once we add an action, it's going to click here to select the tile you want to apply the action to. So I'm going to click on this one, and I'm going to click on two. What that's going to do is I'm going to give you the option to uncheck that, which means that I've now unlocked level two by beating level one with this exit code. So if I hit save, go back to the other level. If I Right, one donut flower, no blocks, donut flower, no block. Once I do that, level two is unlocked. You'll notice that level two tile is missing. I forgot here to actually put in the level two tile. Save. Now, right here is preview changes. You won't actually see the change here per se, but this is a you'll be able to see this when you are making a uh, dynamic pass or modifying the world as we go. So let's go back, refresh. Click on two, nothing happens. Click on one, donut. Click on two, now this one's unlocked. Now another thing that we can do is we can actually have this invisible. And you'll notice these little blue dots, uh, blue squares. These are all the squares that have levels attached to them, or level IDs attached to them. So what we can do now is if I click on one, my first action is unlocking two. So if I hit preview changes, you'll see it shows up. But now I'm going to draw a path to that. So I'm going to add another action, click on the select tile tool, click on this one, and then pick the road tile. So if I click preview changes now, I'll see that. So let's save the map, refresh. So now I'm going to click on one, put in the exit code, two draws up. 
what we could also do is we could add an alternate path. So I'm going to add another exit. I'm going to make this one flower no block key. I'm going to add the action here. I'm going to put a up road. Add another action here. Oops. Here. I'm going to change that to. Uh, let's put a one of you. And if you hover over the tile selectors, you can see where the tiles are. And if you could preview changes, you can actually see them coming up. Add another action here. Going to make that a oops, make that a road. And what we're going to do is we're going to bypass level two. That's the last one there. So there, we're going to bypass level two, go straight to level three. Add action, click, you, map. How's this looking? Good. We're going to add another action. There. And it's going to be you. How are we looking? Almost done. This one and up. And one last action, which is to click on the level three level, give it its tile, but also to unlock it. So now if you find the alternate exit, you can get to level three that way. I'll save the map, refresh. Uh, what did I say that code was? Uh, flower note key. So flower note key send, and an alternate path is drawn. So this gives you the ability to create uh, levels that were similar to Mario 3, where all the levels are there, all the paths are there, but you were just locked based on progression. Two levels similar to Super Mario World, uh, where uh, ghost houses would have alternate exits and different ways to get through it. So if you want to, you can create basically any kind of overworld map from the last, from either Mario 3 to Mario Super Mario World. Uh, that's the gist of it. Other uh, features are um, coming. Uh, things like being able to change the size and dimension of the map. Right now I'm sticking to this one just because it kind of fits nicely. Uh, you can delete levels that you don't want anymore. You can rename them. And then right here is a link to actually going and sharing that code. So yeah, that's the gist of it. Um, most of these things are still in the works. We're going to be um, launching this fairly soon and taking feedback. And if you have any feedback, send it right to my way. Uh, I'm on Twitter at Techsev. Uh, yeah, that's the gist of it. Thanks a lot.